I think it's uh, the challenge and the excitement of it. I don't know, I think it's really just kind of that rush of you go out and you never really know what's gonna happen. It's not an easy fish to catch. And then when you even see one, it's like an adrenaline rush. And like that part of it is I think like the addicting part. I feel like it's like Christmas morning for some people. <laughs> you finally get it in the net, you get the hooks out and you just get to grab it, put her on the bump board and take a picture with it. It's just so exciting. Not as many females in uh, musky fishing sport, but um, it's on the rise, I would say, and that's great to see. Lots of females are getting into it now. I think it's just kind of nice to get out and, and try it. I think like Chelsea said, anybody can do it. You just gotta hopefully have the patience for it if you don't catch anything and, and just keep trying. One of our favorite things to do is pack good snacks because we always joke that uh, if we're not going to catch anything, at least we can eat good while we're in the boat. Maybe two summers ago we went out and <laughs> Christina literally packed like a full supper for us. We had like potato salad and like ribs <laughs> in the boat. So we enjoy ourselves even if we're not catching fish. We just fish well in the boat together. It's always a good time, lots of laughs. Lots of food. <laughs> I thought we were going to have to get out. <laughs> Not bad. Teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. One of my favorites is probably my first Eagle Lake muskie. I, w I worked pretty hard for it. Still my biggest fish today at a 46. On opening weekend with my dad and my brother, we were out for Father's Day and I caught a, a 50 and a half. So I caught my new personal best um, on Father's Day, which was pretty cool. One of my other most memorable catches though is probably uh, one of the fish in mine and Christina's tournament we fished in. We caught a 45 and that was, that was pretty exciting. We knew we were gonna have an okay day at least once we got that one in the boat. Like we went in just looking for one fish, um, got four and took second. So that was pretty wild. That's definitely a top memory. I guess it's kind of a lifestyle for some people here for sure, right? I think if you grow up with it, it's, it's really what you know and it's what you love for sure. I think there's lots of people here that love to do a lot of other things, but I honestly just feel lucky that I can get out any day possible to go fishing for sure. Checking, buddy. Going with the trilogy? Yeah. Orange, black? Yeah. I mean, you just enjoy the day. You're outside enjoying nature. You get that chance, it's, uh, it just adds all the excitement to the day. Oh, there we go. Like I plan my holidays around fishing a lot of the time. So once walleye opens, you go for walleye a little bit. You anticipate muskies for the whole time. And then once it opens, you just kind of hit it hard until the water freezes over and you can't go anymore. And then you just start the countdown until the next year. <laughs> 